Oh, hello there, young artiste. Welcome to the joy of painting. I am Bob Ross's daughter, Diana Ross. Oh, uh, no, I, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Not that Diana. <laughs> no, I'm no Diana Bracho from the sexy telenovela Fuego in La Sangre, but rather a unnatural femme fatale that's taking over the family business of teaching you to paint. After a recent trip on peyote with my spirit animal, a dancing hyena with magical green glittery tap shoes, I've decided to let the spiritual world guide my every whim in life. This journey has proven all the difference in my decision-making process, from bill paying to sexual positions. Mm. Now I'm going to let it lead me on an artistic odyssey on this very canvas. How you might ask? Well, not through peyote, that's for sure. I ran out last week, but through mystical tarot cards. Ooh. I sleep with them nightly so I can get my juices on them, both spiritual and actual juices. First, let's cleanse the space with some sage. Make sure it's white sage and not the kind you cook with. I made that mistake the first time I tried to cleanse. Mm. I'm ready. I'm ready. My first card represents my past, and that is Three of Scrolls. Hmm. Interesting. That means rejection. This speaks to me and my childhood. From the ages of 3 to 13, I had weekly therapy sessions, I did therapy drawings, to deal with my intense fear of Peter Pan. Creepy son of a bitch. It was believed that I was shown Mary Martin's Peter Pan too early in life, and I was afraid that Peter Pan was going to come in, steal my shadow and my piggy bank, and take me off to the land of foul-smelling orphan boys. When I was a teen, I put up an art exhibit called Peter Pan kleptomaniac and kidnapper and I sold four pieces. It was a major success until my father came home juiced up on whiskey, cough syrup and fail ratings and decided to point out my lack of technique in my elementary work. So for that ice cold rejection, I'm going to use an ice cold blow. So lovely. Next card represents my present life and my present situation. And that card is five of mirrors. That means forgiveness. And since I forgive my father and all his faults, and I accept him, I'm going to accept him by painting some happy little clouds on my ice cold canvas. How do you like that happy little cloud, Dad? Last card represents the future. And that card is Merlin. Hmm. That's rebirth, new beginnings, and freedom. I know this means that it's freedom from my father artistically. <laughs> He's been dead for over 20 years now and I can finally fly away free, both artistically and as a person. Yes. So why don't we paint a bird flying through his damn little happy clouds? That feels so good. I'm Diana Ross, and this is the joy of painting. We'll be back after this commercial break. But remember, sometimes you have to do peyote and let your spirit animal guide you through every decision in life. I do.